man on the road. There's a road that I always drive through for work day after day. Although it was a quiet place, I didn't pay much attention to it, Ooh. as it has always a few cars on the road. However, eh. something started to bother me at some point. There was a man standing on the same side of the road almost every day with no expression. The same Late shirt, at night shirt, or dirty. early daybreak. It hasn't been Dang, long since bro. I noticed he was always in the same place in all weather. So one day that I talked cook. to my colleague about the man and he suddenly said, he seemed like a very famous man around that place. But you know what? No matter where famous. you see him, you will always see his face from the front. No one has literally seen his back or even his side. Moreover, there are strangely many accidents on that road. What? So everyone says that's a curse from that dude. For now, uh, everyone just passes him something. on the road and ignores him. I suddenly became curious about him. That day on my way back home from work, I was driving on the road where the man stood. And the man was standing there Bro, as usual, why are you driving on the same straight at me. Why why are you driving on that same road? I just him, told I you turned that. my head to see him sideways. Why? But he was already staring at me straight in his face. Oh my gosh. Now Tent I passed the windshield. man and looked into the side mirror to see his back. But still, he was looking at me straight. It made me feel creepy enough. After I arrived at home, another curiosity sprang up. So he kept staring at me, but I couldn't really see him moving. He definitely moved when I just took my eyes off for a moment. Then what happens if I keep staring at the man without taking Why my eyes off? Why do you want to see his backside so bad? The next Why are you OD to the same place? Like, it was time bro. to put the way I thought yesterday into practice. You didn't want to get smarter, and bro. I don't surely know what's up with you, bro. Same places, staring straight at me. I began to keep my eyes on him from the moment I bro, first you saw are him driving. and watched him until the moment I passed by. And of course, when I didn't take my eyes off him, he didn't look back at me either. The side of the mystery man began to be seen little by little, and I noticed that it was no different from the other ordinary person. But I felt excited like a child who had just discovered the hidden treasure. Ugh. Besides, it would be perfect what if I see his backside last. I had already turned my head 180 degrees Bruh. and looked back dangerously before I knew it. I couldn't see the back well, so I was trying to turn back. Yeah, you the, you the crazy guy. He's not the crazy guy, bro. You cooked. Your marbles rolling on the ground. You struggling to pick him up. You lost it. Hands off the steering Bruh, wheel. Bro, my guy. Now the back of bro, him he was finally seen off by the... my eyes. Bro, you about to be seen in heaven. About to exclaim. And at that moment... Bang! You better be seen in heaven now. My mind. When I woke up again, oh, you better I was praise God on that one. And fortunately, I was not seriously hurt though. What a stupid! Why did I do that? I don't know. Was I possessed by something? While thinking about those things, a man in a police uniform knocked on the door of the room and came inside. Hi, I came here to hear what happened to you yesterday. So I frankly confessed that I had acted rashly to see the back of the man standing on the road Just and admitted that, that the accident bro. had happened. Could have killed somebody. I don't know why I suddenly thought so. Just then, the cop who was listening to me without saying anything said to me, and that one sentence that he had told me still remained in my head long after the incident. Since that day, I've been avoiding the road Good. wherever I go to work or come back home. Shoot. That dude didn't take you this time. That dude didn't take you?